Photography, as we know it, has not had a long history, but it has quickly developed, especially during the past 30 years. Since its invention by Joseph Nicephro Nieps in 1826, it has changed a lot. His first picture, a blurry image of rooftops which took eight hours to be captured, can be hardly compared to anything from the current era. Even in the late 20th century, many of us experienced photofilms and their use in analog cameras. He started from Eastman Kodak when he developed the negative and there were some cameras and trials at that time. Uh, when the photographic paper came out, we had what we call the pinhole camera. You put the paper in, in the uh, a shoe box, make a pinhole in front, cover it up, go out and do it for a few seconds, close it up and go and process that, that film. You know, and as we went on, we found that there came the issue of negatives. The photography at that time, uh, before digital came in, you had to really know what you're doing. It involves or involved a lot more calculations. Because if I'm doing a portrait for a billboard, I must know which film I'm going to use. If I'm going to do uh, photographs of a head of state, I must know whether the head of state is comfortable with the flash or whether he is not. In today's digital photography, the image is stored as data in the memory of digital cameras or computers. The images are constructed by the camera sensors on the basis of received light. These digital images are made of independent picture elements or pixels, which carry the image's information, which can be changed independently in different ways with the use of image editing software. The first digital images appeared on TV screens and computers, as well as on newspapers and magazine pages in the late 80s. Despite the fast-paced transformation of photography, professionals in the industry say it is positive. I think it has made um, things much more easier. Um, back in the day, we had to you get your camera, you now have to fix the film in correctly. If it's exposed to sunlight, you've destroyed the whole film. It was <clears throat> very limiting. You could only take, I think it was 30 pictures per film. And so now you just click, click, click away. Depending on the size of your memory, you can take 5,000 pictures at a go. So it's made things a lot easier. You can just pull it out. You take it now and it's instant. So in a time where everything is very fast, um, I think cameras have caught on. They've made things easier for us. It's instant. You take the picture and you have it there. Whereas before, you now had to go process the film and it will work. And, you know, that, that, that took time. Now it's easier and everything is faster for us. But on the flip side, some professional photographers say the transformation has negatively affected their business because people's reliance on smartphones and even simple cameras to capture images has reduced the number of people who rely on professional photographers for almost every event or special moment. What is really affecting the photography business now is that there are a lot of powerful phones like iPhones and Samsung phones that can also take good pictures. But the difference is we in the photography business, uh, we can make shoots, we have a lot of uh, materials like softbox, a reflector and those things now you can take good pictures. However, some players in the industry say the fast-paced digitization is a blessing. Oh yes, technology has really helped because um, previously you needed photo to take a picture of you. Now everybody is a photographer. However, if we are speaking technically, not everybody is a tech, uh, photographer. Everybody can take a picture, but not everybody is a photographer. So it has helped. It has made it easier um, for people to be able to capture those moments that they cherish the most without having to wait on somebody or without having the limitation of, um, oh, I don't have the skill or I can't do it because um, your cell phones, are even our digital cameras have auto settings. So you can be the worst photographer, but when you pick up the camera, at least it guides you. Some of our cell phones are guiding us on how to take pictures. So it definitely has made things better 
and made it easier for us to capture the moments we cherish the most. For those who sell digital cameras and its accompanying accessories, they say business is good. About 20 to 30 years in business now, no? they are buying more of the digital than the analog. That one I can assure you. Digital camera is more patronage than the analog camera. As we are taking the pictures, we are watching when it is going well or not. When the picture is not good, we just delete it off. Prior to digital photography, there was often a delay in accessing images from photographers who relied on the analog technology. But these days, one gets their images immediately if they want, especially the soft copies. Even the hard copies can be done early enough, depending on a client's preference. However, the era of hard printed images and photo albums is even fading away as many prefer soft copies. I like the soft copy and save them um, on my Google Drive or something to sort of immortalize it. Especially the youths, they prefer the soft copy. They want to share those pictures on social media platforms like Facebook, WhatsApp, and you know, on Facebook you can, you can have your own gallery. I wanted it to be printed out for me. And the reason is I want to buy an album and put it inside. Maybe my phone can got lost and I will, I will lose everything, my pictures and everything. But if I buy the album and put it inside, any time I want to watch, I will just open it. Indeed, technology will keep changing. And that means photography will not be left out of any transformation. There are even suggestions that mobile phones will, in the coming years, compete strongly with digital cameras and disrupt the business of photography further. But only time will tell. The changes are also happening with the DSLRs, and we are getting to that point. We've gotten to, we got we got to a point where Samsung, for example, combined your traditional camera with a mobile phone, where on the back you had you know a point and shoot camera, and on the front you had you know a mobile phone. I'm seeing a point where there will be a lot more evolution in that sort of thing, and we're going to see a proper measure between the two. I'm looking forward to the time where you, we can wear cameras like um, contact lenses. Um, one, one deficiency I find with cameras now is it's never able to capture the image like you see it. You, you can be looking at something, but the eye sees it way differently that because the camera has limitations. Um, your room, the, the zoom, whatever, no matter how you play with it, there are limitations. So I'm praying for the day where we can have cameras that we can just wear as contact lenses and it will just capture the moment with the blink of an eye and it captures it the way I am seeing it.